2,500 head of cattle at the EA uh, monthly store sale on uh, Friday. Adam Mountjoy joins me. Adam, uh, a different sort of sale here today where we saw the in the steers department, the, uh, the feeders step back a little bit and your local graziers and the restockers uh, took most of the steers. Yeah, they certainly did, Murray. Uh, it's uh, interesting to see we haven't seen competition from the grass department uh, over the last uh, few months through the winter months. Um, you know, quite often uh, we've seen 60 to 70 percent of our yardings being bought by feedlots. Um, now we've seen the grass competition come into the markets, and uh, uh, Gippsland and the North East stepped in here today and, uh, and really pressed the, uh, the feedlotters. So um, they were unable to secure a lot of steers, and uh, their steers have gone back out in the paddock, so it's, it's good to see. Yeah. Uh, uh, that said, the, the price never took a step back. Uh, we're still seeing steers, uh, the top end of your better weaners, making 350s and 60s and, uh, and uh, back into $3 for some of your grown steers. That's right. Uh, the, the, the grown steers uh, have topped today at $1,600 for some Charolais calves, which is uh, very, very good. Uh, the best of the uh, European infused weaners, um, sort of spring drop calves, uh, top at $1,370 for uh, some Charolais cross calves again. Simply the best of the Angus calves today, um, lighter weights, but uh, yeah, they made still made up to $140. And, and that uh, consistency in the top end of those uh, cattle, you know, they held all the way through. We had some secondary and third draft of cattle uh, today, particularly young black is making in excess of $900. Um, and that held right through to the heifer sale too. Um, their sisters made uh, you know, $700 or $800, which uh, you know, we've seen that, that gap starting to narrow uh, a little bit between the heifers and the steers. Yes. It, uh, it was a very strong sale. Yeah, uh, it was almost reverse in the heifer sale where the uh, the feeders just took everything on mass, uh, and a good lineup of uh, heifers with, with a good condition on them, but a little bit more forward done better than what the steers have done. That's right. Yeah, and uh, the terrific yarding of heifers, uh, very very good. Uh, the, the, the top end of the heifers uh, being the large drafts of the spring drop calves here today, you know, representing some 340, 50 kilos, um, and uh, consistently uh, you know, around you know, a thousand. $1,100 where, where the lion's share of the, uh, the feedlot cattle were purchased out of the heifer run. Um, you know, really, they had to give $1,000 plus, so it's encouraging. Um, yeah, he's making its name now for having you know, big runs of, um, of uh, Charolais uh, cross calves. Uh, yep. Um, quite a remarkable run here today and all taken almost by the one feeder. Yeah, that's right. No, they're uh, they're uh, certainly had an impact here uh, in the breeding programs for local producers here over the last four or five years. And uh, we see now with these spring calves coming through, um, you know, any of those uh, Charolais infused cattle which have been left over um, that are really starting to hit the straps now and go on the grass and uh, they will perform very well for their purchase today. Yeah, finally cows and calves today. Five lots of cows and calves between 1600 and that's right, 1850. 18, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so cows and calves, uh, I mean, it, it, very mixed yarding of cows and calves, we will say, but um, the base is still uh, still 1,100, and uh, you can buy the best for 1,850, the uh, top end of the cows, still a little viable. Yeah, so as good as we've seen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. so a good market, uh, you know, going into the spring with a bit of grass just ready to go, sunshine out. For sure, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a good good yarding and a good indication going forward, you know, we'll, we'll step into our October features now, and uh, if we can replicate the result today, we'll, we'll be very happy.